Hey guys, it's your girl Liddy Keys coming on here today to show you how to pineapple method your hair when you are wearing a weave. Now the point of doing this method is to maintain it. So because I have a curly weave in my hair, it, gets, it can get frizzy really, really fast and it will mess up the style. There isn't really a particular product you can put on it, being that it is the cheaper synthetic hair. Um, so just to maintain the curls and keep it looking nice, you want to try this method and it's really comfortable to sleep in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do the pineapple method. So doing this method is really, really, really easy. It literally takes five minutes and my hair looks absolutely fabulous in the morning. There's no extra frizz or whatever. Now, my hair is frizzy now because I just discovered this method like a week ago. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of messed it up. I was doing like twists instead and it, it messed up my hair a little bit. But it does look very natural, so I don't mind it too much. But anyway. Okay, so you only really need three things for this method. You need bobby pins, you need a leave-in moisturizing spray, and you need a satin scarf. All right, so I'm gonna use these bobby pins. I'll have about five of them. And then I'm gonna use, of course, my own Lady Keys leave-in moisturizing spray. So, you just spray your hair, you know, all over. I'm not actually doing it because I don't need any more leave-in moisturizing spray right now. But you go ahead and you spray your hair all over. And then you kind of just fluff it to make sure that it's in there. Make sure you spray down to your scalp so that you hydrate your real hair underneath the weave. That is really, really, really important. So, then it's very simple from there. You just take a section and you bend it back. Bobby pin that. Try to hook the bobby pin to the tracks and not underneath your cornrows because you don't want to snag any of your real hair. So you do that same thing here. Just take it and bend it up. Back section, same thing. See how I'm bending it? And you want to attach the bobby pin to the ends of the hair. Same thing here. So don't do this too tightly because you don't want to pull the curls out. So just kind of bend it and pin it. And then in the front, same thing. And then, so now you just have the actual weave exposed, which I'm really bold for this because, you know, this is going in front of people. But, but um, you just go ahead and you spray your edges a little bit, kind of massage that in to make sure you're hydrating your edges. And then you could use a little bit of aloe vera gel to smooth that down, tie your satin scarf on, and that's the pineapple method. So, um, I prefer to sleep with my satin scarf on because it holds the pins in place. It kind of gives my hair that curl still. Um, but the satin bonnet could slip off and then you'll have one that falls and you don't want that. So I would definitely suggest that you invest in a satin scarf and sleep with that on. Take your pins out. Got people walking past. <laughs> Oops. Okay, and then you just fluff your hair. Of course, leave a moisturizing spray again, so make sure you hit, um, hit your scalp, make sure you hydrate your, the hair that's actually underneath the tracks. And that's how you do it. So, as always, I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you, of course, for tuning in and continuing to support your girl. Um, if you have any follow-up questions or any questions in general about your natural hair while it's out or how to take care of it in a weave, you can join my Lady Keys Natural Hair page on Facebook. I'll post the link below in the description box. And I'm on there every day. Also, uh, the earrings that I have on, for those of you that think these are cute, um, these are by Sarita Thomas. You can find her on my Facebook page. I will also post her information in the description box. And they're really, really cute. They're really, really sturdy. I love them to death. And I really, really appreciate her sending them to me. So thank you, girl. And um, yeah, so you can check out her page through the description box and you can see how you can also purchase some earrings like these as well. So that is all that I have for you today. And I will see you all next week with another video. 